Live from New York, it's the show that was just flabbergasted. Well, you were. I, I didn't realize it. There is a take coming up in the show within the next hour and 15 minutes that's just going to knock your socks off. Better than the oh, Mac versus hope. Trevor take from yesterday? <laughs> that one. <laughs> look, I, I, that worked, though. It got people That moving. did go viral. It, not for the right reasons, well, but it went viral. <laughs> first things first. Today, why the Cowboys are sick about Saquon to the Eagles. Meanwhile... Russ tweets, it's a great day to be a Steeler. So the question is, can he carry Pittsburgh to the playoffs? And finally, it's the second edition of the warmest segment in all sports. King of the Hills, named after LeBron James. Indeed. There's Joker with a big win over the Celtics alongside Chris Broussard. I'm Kevin Wilds. Nick, any surprises in King of the Hill? A lot of movement. Again, it's not club superstar. There's, there's a, it's a fluid living list. So three people off. Entirely three new additions. One of your favorites. Shingun is on. Oh, Shingun don't avoid spoil a major it. injury. Yeah. And he made it. It was a big day for me. He got a gold medal, ball. makes King of the Hill a lot Doing to great. do in an hour. Doing great. Okay. Yeah, we start okay. with the big news. Derek Henry, Baltimore Raven, two years, 16 million, can get up to 20. Ravens led the league in rushing with 156 yards a game, 15 yards more than the second place team. Uh, Henry's 30 years old, bro but still rushed for almost 1,200 yards and had 12 touchdowns last year. Yeah. Uh, his reaction is Flock Nation. It's up. Your reaction is what? You left some of that out. You didn't want to read the whole thing? Well, I, you know. <laughs> I would have loved to hear you read the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. What? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I love it! Oh, I you. love it! He got you. You, you always it. say he's a bad actor. <laughs> yeah. And I he know, got you. Guys you. Know. No, I don't, Brew. I know you have an IMDb page. Yes, Wild yes. is always knocking your acting. I, lo- I, I, I love like it. it. <laughs> All right? I love it so much. I thought about bringing out the Jordan 3s <laughs> oh, and have. the Versace Yeah, rose. why didn't you? Because I'm a little, I'm admittedly a tad bit gun shy. Once bitten, twice happened. shy yeah, about Baltimore. Happened. We got a few months for me mm-hmm. to decide on my Ravens pick. But, I, look, it's a great fit. I mean, Derrick Henry, and I know Nick will, Nick will scoff. Don't say you know. Guess who had the worst offensive line in the league last according year? To according PFF. to PFF.com. <laughs> the the All right. Tennessee Titans? It was the Tennessee Titans, and yet he still was no. second in the league in rushing, had almost 1,000 yards after contact, second in the league to McCaffrey. And even though he's 30 years old, Nick, we've seen got Emmitt Smith, Walter Payton, Frank Gore, Anyone in Adrian the Pe- Peterson. Oh, Adrian well, Peterson. Frank Gore. Frank yeah, Gore okay, was yeah. fairly recent. Adrian yeah. Peterson. And so I think he's still got some good years left. Mm-hmm. And for him to be in an offense where he's like, in Tennessee, it was we know Derrick Henry's running the football. Yeah. Now you got to worry about Lamar, obviously. You got to worry about the pass game. So I think he's going to see holes that he hasn't seen in years. And the, this is a team, Nick, and we'll see if the Chiefs, how it is next year. But this past season, the, if there was a weakness, it's not a weakness, but the weakest yes, part of, of the, the defense that's right. was the run game. Yeah. And so seems like Baltimore, Baltimore should have leaned yeah, on that. Yeah, they should have ran a little game. more. But yeah. now they're definitely going to run the football with Derrick Henry. They're going to get a receiver probably in the draft. So well, they do. I like year. it. Okay. I like it. Wild to ask me ask me the question. Sure. I mean, the question was just your reaction. Well, ask me the ru- question. Fear, ask me with all the teams that sign running backs. So I can do the thing. It's, okay. it's sixteen million dollars. Wild. Do you, do for you two think, years again? I'm, this is a freestyle. Yeah. Do you think it was smart? of the Baltimore Ravens to spend moderately $9 big money million. And, and sign Derrick Henry? No. <laughs> it works it's, if it no. was big money. It I, wasn't big. Okay. It's one Bruce, year $9 million. It's the, again, I look at all of these things in context, right? So it's the second most guaranteed money, I believe, of well, any running back. Gar- uh, all right, of any running back this cycle. Oh, this season. I think, yeah. Of any running, season. Y- right. And so I think, obviously, Saquon got way more than everybody else. And but I, not, but I guaranteed, did, right, he only got $26 million guaranteed. Right. And which is still, sake for sake, that's way more than any other running back, yeah. I'm saying. And so I don't hate this deal. I want to be clear. I don't think it puts him over the top. I think that, as you pointed out, but I want to reemphasize it, this team was first in rushing already, 26 rushing touchdowns on the year. League leader was at 27. Third in yards per carry. They they all they had the th- the fourth highest scoring offense in the league. Their issue, you could argue in the regular season, didn't really have issues, but it certainly was not a lack of a running game. Mm-hmm. If I were running the Ravens, 
I would have used my resources elsewhere because I think they have real concerns from last season to this next season on the defensive side of the ball because the coordinator's gone and he was excellent and just a lot of free agents, a lot of guys who had – Queen. Oh, Queen gone. Uh, we'll see where Clowney goes, but he had a career year. Kyle Van Noy was like, wow, what a year he's having. Yep. Kind of an older player. Free agents. A lot of free agents leaving on that side of the ball. But more, Wilds, here's my thing. Who do the Ravens want to be offensively? They want to be that, the Ravens. Yeah, but who, wait, who, I don't yeah, know. I don't really think there's anybody like them. No, Well, but the idea, I think – Last year was, we are pivoting. We are pivoting from a run-first, RPO-oriented Greg Roman system to more of a traditional drop-back passing style of offense, and everyone loved it. Lamar won MVP, mm-hmm. even though Lamar's numbers, passing numbers weren't great. People thought it was the, the best or second best year of his career. And then they lost a playoff game. Because everyone seems to, not that the Chiefs were better, which I thought, but nobody thought that at the time. They thought they lost the playoff game because they made a strategic error. They threw the ball too much. They put the ball in the MVP's hands. They screwed up by leaning on their newly signed MVP quarterback. And now, to me, this offseason, when you go out and sign Derrick Henry, let Patrick Queen walk out the door, sign Derrick Henry, what you're saying is, ah, we want to go back to smash mouth running football, which is an odd for a team that just spent a a first-round pick on Bateman, a first-round pick on Zay Flowers, spent $50 million on Odell. Seems uh, you just said you're going to draft another receiver. Like, what do the Baltimore Ravens want to be? I don't know the answer to Uh, that. Okay. But I I don't think they're going smash mouth. Look, even last year. Derrick Henry. Guess who threw the football more than Lamar Jackson? Or or Lamar Jackson barely threw it more than uh, Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy. So, he didn't throw – it wasn't like – like, he wasn't throwing it as much as Mahomes and guys like that. So, I in that playoff game, certainly they threw the ball too much. But I just think this will be a great compliment. At 30 years old, I, again, I think he's got a lot left. But they're not going to just be running him 28 times a game. So, I think there's going to be a good mix Maybe. for both of them. All right, trivia question. Yeah. It's a – Projection trivia. Sure. Uh, Ravens leading rushers. This is the list of lead, rating, yeah, Ravens nobody leading gets a thousand running yards, backs. Right? Yeah. So right. They never a running back never led the league uh, led the team in rushing. Yeah. Lamar right. led the team every time. So next year, who has more rushing yards, Lamar or Derrick Henry? Well, I think it will be Lamar. Really? Yeah, because I. And this is – Derrick Henry is going to make – 8-10? I think Derrick, it's going to be Henry. All right, Lamar so Derrick, had 8 so it was close. It was Derrick like Henry is going to make the Hall of Fame, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Derrick Henry is the best back of his generation, if you consider post-Adrian Peterson, you know, right. the maybe mm-hmm. mini generation. I don't know how you do it. I am skeptical on if Derrick Henry has another great season. In it. He still – I am I, – I, I understand the, the, the yards per carry down a touch. Bruce's point about the offensive line is correct. And it is so – he is already two years past the outlier when it comes to wear and tear. When it, that volume of carries – and we saw him have the injury a couple of years ago, but then he bounced back and had another excellent year, and last year was good. I don't know that I would call him excellent last year. But I he, thought was he was second good. in rushing. Yeah, sure, and, and he had a dozen touchdowns. Yep. I get it. I just think the tread is worn very thin on the tires, and I think Lamar will, as he has to – I think your point of that was every year of his career yeah. led the t- – So you don't think he's going to get 800 yards? Well, I don't know. Do you, how many carries – let's do it this way. How many carries do we think he's going to get? How many carries do we think he's going to get? We can do the math in real time, right? Like, is he going to get more than 200 carries? Is he oh, going to be yeah. – you? yeah. Okay, so you think he's going to be 1,000? That's, that's just so. a little over 10 a game. Yeah. 200 th- carries. Okay. He's so- going to probably get – 16, 17. So he's going to be their feature, no question, number one back. See, so because oh, the yeah. Ravens have kind of done it by committee. Yeah, I don't, but you okay. don't sign Derrick Henry to do. And okay. here's the thing look, as good, ju- you're right that Dobbins and just Gus Edwards and whoever they put in there has yeah. been productive, but imagine what he'll be like. This is a top five offensive line. Imagine what he'll be like running behind that offensive line again when they right. can't just zero in on you. Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, the read option should be. Oh, right. It's, that, it's I understand that part of it. Up. I just wonder. I wonder what Derrick Henry they're getting, and I wonder how they want to use him, and I'm not sure that they know that right now. 
His I, last game, 153 yards. Yeah. Last game last year. I think he's and hit 22 LeBron miles an hour almost. Like I know, I know the data says one thing. I mean, not in the scheme. No, I of get like it. Great, I understand what you. But mean. like, you know what? Show me the data that I'm really declining. Like, well, you should be declining, but like, I'm not. Okay. So, mm. also, and always they both have I mean, the same thing. You know, I mean, he had 2,000 yards so a few helps. years ago. So, like, there's, and then he got hurt. And last year, he had, a, he was, he had 1,000 Buddy, yards. Look at PFF. Okay, okay. Offensive line rating. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go well, who was second to last? Do you know? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I only wrote down what I need yes. for this second. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Micah Parsons, not happy, we think. Saquon tweeting Eagles emojis. Saquon tweeting, you know, three laughing so much you're crying and then sickening. You can interpret that however you want. Odds to win the NFC East, Dallas at one. Philly right on their heels at two. Then the Giants at three, they, although they did sign uh, Brian Burns, so that's good. Then the Commanders, who, I don't know what the Commanders are up to. Uh, Brew, do the Cowboys deserve to be the favorites? No. No. Really? No. Now, I'm not saying they're not making the playoffs or anything like that, but Dallas has gotten worse. Dorrance Armstrong, gone. Mm-hmm. Tyler Biotish, gone. All right, like, th- who's the running back? I don't know. Right now, their starting running back is, is Deuce, the, the little guy. Oh, the, the kid from K State. Yeah, that's or their starting Rico running Dow. back right now. I like yeah, him, well, sure. Dallas is a free agent, sure. too. Yeah, so I we'll, assume they'll we'll bring see. him back, but you're right, yeah. They're right? Yeah, Deuce, Deuce McBride. Is there. Deuce yeah. McBride. He's their, no, Deuce no, it's McBride. not a McBride. Yeah, Deuce Vaughn. Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, yeah that's right. he's their starting running back. Yeah, Deuce All right. McBride. They've gotten worse. <laughs> they lost their defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, who, as bad as it looked in the playoff game, is a good DC. Yeah, yeah All that part's true. And so, and then you look at Philly. Now that whatever that Philly. nonsense they went through last year, it's over. Why? I'm, t- I'm declaring it's over. Based on so what? So they're gonna be in a funk. They were okay. in some supernatural funk. I can't at the end believe of last you're year. This Hold on, Saquon funk. Barkley again. Miles, he's better than Miles Sanders and DeAndre Swift. True. All right. Now he's got a better off. That's a great yes. offensive line. He's got a better offensive oh, well, line. Well, even though they losing Kelsey, well, they still are a top on. offensive line. Bro. He's going to be great. You got the great receivers. Okay. You got the quarterback I'm to so worry blind. about. Coordinators. I, I'm the, the, coordinators. And what about Nick Fangio? We, okay. Oh, on. let me hold on quickly because oh, this might silence you. I mean, you I'm might happy just, that we're back with Drew's after this. love of these birds. Well, I'm just saying they're going to be in the NFC East. That's no, all. They, yeah. Vic Fangio. Let's uh-huh. see. He was in Denver. Uh-huh. 2021. Yeah, it's great. Third best defense in the league scoring defense. Yeah. He leaves. 2022, they immediately dropped to 14th, and then we saw this year. It was a mess. They gave up 70. They thought their defense right. was good a year ago. It, it, yeah, it still was 14th. It okay. wasn't good compared yeah. to when Fangio was okay. there. Uh-huh. All right. San Francisco, it's going back a little way. San Francisco, but hold, on, hold on. When was he? He no, 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 goes man. there. He goes there in 2011. 2011. Right? In tw- the year before, they Bro. were the 16th. 2011. Hold on. Si- Bro, we all know Ken Van Jones Jones good. Finish. No, we- 16th ranked defense. <laughs> he takes them to the right. second immediately. Right. Last yes. thing, this is a little closer. 20? 2015. Okay. Okay. We're just. All right. He's in Chicago. Like the Chicago, they had the 31st worst defense like- in the league okay. in short order. <laughs> They're top ten and then number okay. one. What do you think of? I, 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 did I miss it? I was interrupting you a lot, so I want to miss. It. I apologize. How was Miami's defense last year? Did you like it a lot? He did the best he could okay. with a bunch of break dance. Okay, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> Brew, Brew, what did you admit Philly was? By the end of the year. No, I never so, okay. They won game. Right. I, so I, listen, they were in a funk. I, I, the reason Brew just, just did. Yeah. They just go that, win the that, NFC East. That, That's okay. all I'm guaranteeing. Wait a moment. Sure. The reason Brew just did that Christopher Nolan style time jumps like to that. confuse the audience <laughs> was because I think he realized mid-sentence, uh-oh, I'm talking about the Cowboys' losses because they've lost Biotish and Dorrance Armstrong when the Eagles – Lost Jason Kelsey and Fletcher Cox. Mm. And now while Fletcher Cox was not the player he once was, he yeah. certainly is a locker room leader. And Jason Kelsey was, uh, checks notes, the best center in football still. Yeah, no. And so, so now they're going to so, be a bad no, offensive line? No, but Brew, the Eagles were awful the final two what months. What about, where was the, Cox's hold leadership? Hold on, wait, Brew. So, uh, so this is a. You're gonna do this. I'm just gonna, saying. You just no. lauded his leadership. Yeah. Now, I think I think Jalen's a great leader. All okay. right, but last year they all this, were in this a is, funk. This is this is. So they're gonna I, I, stay in that funk. No, they're really? just not gonna win the division. 
Oh, the, the question you know it's been how like many years since somebody since 20, 04. It's since been 20 years repeated. since there's been an so they're about to repeat. repeat. Yes, I You're going so. back there so, too because this no, was your team no, last no, 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 no. year I, in I, NFC. Yes, to win the conference, which I am not saying right now. But I the, the Cowboys issue is about playoff collapse, not about whether or not they're a good regular season team. Mm-hmm. Philly's issue was uh, the entire building seems to be aflame. Really, the coordinators, they, they, well, Brew, they won 10 of I'm, their first 11, I'm, and then they were the worst team in football mm-hmm. for two months. You, you, we, we can't pretend that didn't happen. And you guys got annoyed with me when I did, you can do the voice if you want, Wilds, mm-hmm. some cap stuff yesterday about Saquon. And then what did we see happen today? Today. You know what the other team in Pennsylvania did? Signed Patrick Queen for almost the exact amount of money the Eagles use on Saquon Barkley. And now I will ask you, do you think the Philadelphia Eagles would have been better served shoring up that back seven of their defense with a linebacker like Patrick Queen or the shiny, awesome toy that is a cool running back? Like, that's that, why. That, look, that's fine. I, I Honestly, I would have rather had Queen. Of course. And I think Saquon would be really good there, but I think their offense was fine yeah. with their pretty good running backs. Yes. But Saquon is an upgrade. The, and I think Fangio, they know something. Because uh, you're right, they haven't been out there signing all these defensive players. I think they will improve it. They don't Fangio have, knows he's going what he's going to do with this they team. They also uh, know that they have limited resources. The, the GM, surprisingly, against his own history, spent big money on a running back. I just – I don't know. I'm shocked. I thought you had gotten off the Eagles' uh, narcotic. I, I'm shocked that you, after seeing them have a total meltdown right. the final two months of the year and then get embarrassed in a playoff game against Baker, that you would that for you to say, like, how many games do you think the Cowboys are going to win next year? Because they win 12 every year. So you think the Eagles are going to be a 12 or 13 win team? I think the Eagles are going to have a re- really good season. Yes. Wow. Right. Absolutely, like wow. see Dallas Nick, coming down. That was bad at the end of the last year. But I think when the all all the offseason changes and moves and getting away from things, that's what ain't, big that's history now. <laughs> what that's history now. Okay, because the Cowboys got just as bad the, with that playoff. The, game. But the Cowboys was one but this three was hour an unusually period. bad playoff. No, game. I agree with that. It wasn't like Eagles when they lost to the was Niners a, a year before. Historical collapse. And the, the, the unquestioned heartbeat it was, it was of bad. the team on both sides of the ball retired. Mm-hmm. It seems like a problem. No, I don't no, know. No, they're, they're going to be all right. Falcons' okay. new quarterback, Kirk Cousins, now the favorites to win the NFC South. Here's the odds to win the division. Falcons, Bucks, Saints, and Carolina. But the truth of the matter is this. 412 uh, win percentage, worse than any division. So somebody needs to get to 10 wins. He can win it. So, <laughs> Nick. Who's the better bet to win the division, Kirk or the Bake Show? Well, I don't think quarterbacks win divisions. Teams do. The Falcons are the better bet to win the division. That is the, listen, you're trying to trick me into becoming a quarterback wins guy by doing a quarterback (laughs) division championships guy, and I'm not going to do that. Listen, Tampa overachieved a bit last year, given the fact that they had $70 million of dead mm-hmm. money on their books, so they were kind of operating with two-thirds of a roster compared to the rest of the league, and they were still able to not only make the playoffs, but look good in the playoffs. Dog walk the Eagles, and then be right there in that Detroit game, and, and Baker throws the pick at the end. Atlanta has been having, you know, a, a, playing with an arm tied behind their back, and the arm has been the right arm of their quarterback. And so I actually let you guys remember last year, I picked the Falcons before the year to win that division because I thought if they just have the 20th best quarterback Mm playing football, they have enough talent. Instead, they had like the 30th best quarterback playing football, and they still were alive late. So I think the I think Vegas is correct on this. I that Atlanta should be a favorite versus the rest of the division. I think minus 110 is a fair price. Very smooth the way you what. Picked against Baker, but made it look like he exactly. wasn't picking you against don't Baker. No, I'm just, I you like don't Baker. 50, ultimate team sport, guys. 53 man roster. I, it, it's, it's, it, it's, I like Baker, but it's, it's the Falcons. Oh. There's no doubt. They, they have it exactly right. The odds are right. Falcons, Tampa the could make the division as a wild card. I could see that. Yes. Then the NFC, possibly. when you don't have as much right. depth as the AFC. But I think Atlanta. I don't know that I trust Atlanta come the playoffs. Right, but, but the if Atlanta, season, oh, Atlanta, he's gonna put up numbers. He, he's Who gonna is? cousins. Can I say something? Sure. Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. 
did a worldwide media tour after he tore his Achilles. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you, people can argue about whether or not that was successful. But I think overall, he said, I'm going to play so soon. Every, he did raise the bar or lower the bar of how devastating an Achilles is. And I feel like Kirk Cousins, who's four and a half months out from tearing his Achilles, yeah, but pre-Aaron Rodgers interviews, that used to be a huge deal. And now no one's talking you know about him it. You know him dancing on stage. Uh, well, my goodness. Well, Hold on. I don't know I'm that, just saying that dancing. The he was on the, he's throwing the ball on what, the tennis what day court. Is today? Did it, it's been it's been four no, and a half months. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm Look doing April, May, it's June, a few months. July, August, September. So if it's been four and a half months, yeah. it'll be ten and a half yeah, months removed wild. when okay. the season starts. You, I, I, this I'm isn't the, only, the AFC no, East. No, 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 no. no. To, I'm the only the one saying, you know what? The guy's 36 no. years old and he did tear no, his wild. Achilles. You're not Is anyone going to take a breath and be like, huh? I don't know I'm going to tie my future to a guy with one solid Achilles. Wait a moment. I have to be like, why I be the mayor of So your answer is Tampa Bay. I'm going to Bake Show. I'm worried about a guy who's not going to be at 100% health day one. Can I? So can I be very clear? Not you're you're not crazy at all. That's not a hot take. And as far as tie my future, if you're asking me if I were running the Falcons, would I have signed them to this contract? I said yesterday I wouldn't have done it. I understand why Raheem Morris did. And I think there is legitimate reason for concern. To the point where, like, do you have to do some testing? And it's like, hey, can you? You don't think they did all that? Man, it's been I mean, they, they, they gave him a hundred eighty million dollars. No, I think can he run faster than I, Cat Williams right now? I, I, no. I don't think so. I actually, I actually think that some of this is probably absent of full physical because I don't think he could pass the full regular no, physical not right a now. Full one. No, uh, understanding this, so I, I think you're. I, so let me be clear here. I think Atlanta's the right bet. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily put a lot of money on it okay, because fair. I think your point that hey, we don't know if the Achilles is going to hold up or what he's going to look like. That is a fair caveat. It is still given the talent of the team. Yes. Brew loves their offensive line. Fourth ranked, according to PFL. There you okay. go. Well, Achilles Where are the Jets? <laughs> and Jets, are very, Jets might be that answer to your previous question. Oh, 31st last. offensive yeah. line? Well, yeah. Second worst. Achilles, Achilles have Jets. been issues for literally thousands of years. All of a sudden, we don't care. This guy did some interviews. Could Russ miss the playoffs? Next, <laughs> FS1 of the Fox Sports. They're not Series playing X. today. They're playing in 10 months. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. Tomorrow, wow, the committee most free agency. Wow. Well, no, we haven't met up yet. You flew everybody into flew everybody in tonight. Yeah, I'll be honest. Zoom, Skype, Skype. We're yeah. Skype. Yeah, Skype. Not Zoom, <laughs> Skype. Yeah, Don't exactly. Zoom. Uh, the, the OG. <laughs> Russell Wilson. <laughs> One of the committee bell. members is. Why don't you do it by payphone? Oh, so it's the right. Yeah, I got it. Do it by payphone. Uh, <laughs> last year, we gotta see each other. For Twenty-six <laughs> touchdowns, only eight interceptions, but average just a hair over two hundred yards a game. He tweeted out, it's a great day to be a Steeler. Oh. I think he is going to try to check out some uh, catchphrases. Yeah. He's rolling <laughs> this one out. Like, see if that one sticks. Uh, well, Greg Jennings is here. We'll start with you, Nick. More likely, Russ, makes or misses the playoffs? Misses the playoffs? I, I feel like I am in a land of crazy people when it comes to Russell Wilson commentary. It is so sorry. Oh, I almost fell. I get very excited talking about these things. Uh... It's so – there is a clear line of his career. His first nine years, never missed a game, mm -hmm. never for the quarterback wins, folks, was below 500 and made a bunch of Pro Bowls. The last three years has missed time every year, twice for injury, once for getting benched for Stidham, has – for the quarterback wins, folks, has never been above 500 and is averaging 220 yards per game passing and doesn't run like he used to. And has had one coach say, okay, we'll move on from you. And another coach say, I will pack your bags and pay an $85 million mover for you to leave. And now we're like, but is this the time? No, this isn't the time. Mm. And so when I look at the AFC, Greg, can, in, in no particular order except for the first team. Mm -hmm. Kansas City, Houston, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Buffalo, Miami. I'm going to say this team, you guys are going to yell at me, but they were 8-3 and three playing for the one seed until their quarterback got hurt, Jacksonville. I believe in that's that. That's seven. Okay, that's seven teams. <laughs> and then the Chargers, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh 
would be 8, 9, 10. And so I, am I saying it's Mike Tomlin, it's the Steelers' defense, I like the addition of Patrick Queen, yeah. I respect yeah. Tomlin. Am I acting like it's an impossibility to make the playoffs? No, but if I got an even money bet, will Russell Wilson and the Steelers make or miss the playoffs this year in the AFC, I would take miss. Mm-hmm. Look, this is tough. Because I, I, don't, I don't know if my teams exactly line up with you. Buffalo, Kansas City, obviously. I think the Chargers are getting in. Oh, yeah, wow. They should. Uh, with Harbaugh. Houston or Jacks, one team from that division okay. at least. Then Baltimore. Yeah. That's what, six? That's five. I didn't even, oh, that's, that's five. Okay. You haven't said Cincinnati. I didn't say Cincinnati. Yeah. Miami. I'm, yeah, Cleveland, I know. Where you're Cleveland from. and Pittsburgh. I mean, it's just yeah. that division, I don't see any way they can get three teams in. And so, not again, not this year. Yeah, yeah, they did it last year. I think I feel confident saying Russ will play. I think he'll even play better than last year. Now he wasn't great last year, but he was solid, and the numbers were better than he played. He lost his job because of his play. Yeah, no, it's because of the contract. You know, it was because so they don't have to lock him up longer term. Yeah, that's if he wasn't making that money, that it wouldn't he wouldn't have got benched. So he was okay. I think he'll be a little better this year. You're right. Now that they're at Queen, I'm like, man, it's they're going to be really tough. Yeah. But I just – looking at this, man, it's hard to put them in the playoffs. And I don't want to agree with you because I, I disagree on Russ, Russ and right. how you good he'll be. You want but it's close. just hard to say – yeah. Right now, that they they gonna definitely be mm-hmm. a playoff. Yeah. So yesterday, I said it was a question mark as far as Russ and will he thrive with the Steelers? I'm with you. I think they miss, and, and it's it's largely because of what you're lo- what we're looking at. I mean, when you look at just their schedule, they play mm-hmm. obviously in the toughest division in football, so they're gonna beat up on one another, and then you play the AFC West. Mm. Well, that's not that. T- it's too, I mean, it's, that, but you, but two you, teams. Though. I mean, yeah. you got, you got. Those teams are still going to fight. And the Raiders. Will and be. then, and then you have the uh, who is it? The Jets, Colts, Falcons. So I, I just don't know. That's I think, the easiest part. I think yeah. that's the easiest oh, yeah. part of the year. But I just don't know. Watching what happened this year, them getting in with three teams in that division, right. beating up on one another, and. Like, I, I'm oh, sorry. and they, the NFC, NFC East. East. Yeah. The NFC, NFC East, East is the other one. NFC so, East, yeah. too. Yeah, I, I forgot yeah. about no, that. No, I knew you. Yeah, and I so, for you. me, I'm like, they have a tough right. road in front of them. And, and can Russ be better than a lot of the quarterbacks that's going to be on the other sideline? I don't think so. There you go. So, this is a question that I have with Russell Wilson. What exactly was the problem? So, he leaves Seattle. It's like the idea is like he wanted to do more. Like, okay, you get to Denver, you know what the problem was? Nat Hackett, rookie coach, he kind of wanted Aaron Rodgers. That didn't work. And then after Nat Hackett leaves, like, well, you know what? He wanted an office, which everyone thought was ridiculous. I think it's fine. But it's like an That's just because problem. you're the only one of us here that has Can I have an office? office. My God. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wild, $200 million, million dollars. Dollars. Can, can have an office? Bro, do you have an office in there? Do I have an office? You have an office. You're the only one. Regardless. I don't thought it was. He wanted a parking And don't think there haven't been conversations. Uh, and then finally, it's like, well, Sean Payton didn't believe in him. So Warren Sharp tweeted this, Greg, on that he just can't throw the ball anymore. Oh, through 27% of his passes. Pass. Well, we you throw 27% of your passes behind so. the line of scrimmage, it's the highest percentage of over 500 quarterbacks in almost a decade. 62% of his passes within five yards of line of scrimmage, it's number two of almost 500 quarterbacks in a decade. So. Is his arm no, shot? Like, I, what's the, what is balls. the reason okay. why he doesn't? And just final thing, and I'll throw it to you, Greg. I listened to uh, his podcast with Brandon, and I was trying to, like, suss out what it is. He's like, ah, it just didn't work. Like, I never got a, a real diagnosis on why the last three years of his career have kind of, kind of torpedoed. I, I will say this. Like, I, I love those numbers. But when I watch players, I did it myself. Like, there comes a time in your career where – you really know where you are, but you're unwilling to admit it and say it out loud. Period. Like early every, washed? Every, everyone feels like, man, I, I think I lost a step. Or if huh. something happens in, over the course of your playing time, right. if you have the luxury of playing mm-hmm. an extended period of time of where you realize it's different. It's not the same. And I, when I look at Russell Wilson, can any of you 
Tell me, what does he do well right now? Except the that lollipop deep ball. ball yeah, that's the it. The moon ball. Still. But can I? How many times do we see right. it? Right. And so can I? Can I jump in on this yeah, real yeah. quick? So there's twofold. One is I said it last year, that and it sounds dumb, but I know I'm right. He was playing a selfish version of quarterback. He was playing quarterback in order to protect his touchdown interception ratio, not to make the best plays available. And that's what those numbers back up. To your other question, which is what happened to him, I actually think it makes a lot of sense what happened to him. It, three, four years ago, he said, I want to expand. Right. I want to do more than I'm being allowed to do. And his coaches in Seattle were like, you're not able to, buddy. He's like, I am able to. You're wrong. Give me a chance to go prove I can. He went to try to prove he could. They were right. He was wrong. What also happened during that time, mm-hmm. he lost 8, 10, 12% of his athleticism. And that was, go watch any of the great Russell Wilson highlights you've ever seen. 75% of them. The guy's running around like crazy, making amazing plays off schedule. He can't make those anymore. So he gets sacked all the time. Mm. He still has the moon ball. Like, I don't think he is at you, but his athleticism, he lost just enough athleticism to go along with the fact that he tried to do more, and now he's a worse player than he was as a worse athlete than he was in a system that is not familiar to him. Well, that's that, what happened. I, I think that that's there's some good analysis there. Let me ask you this, Greg. I, I think, and even when he was great, he was not an on-time quarterback. He was, as you right, said, right. off schedule. And I, Peyton, I think Drew Brees, you want on time. So I think that. And again, I don't know if he was playing selfish brand because his he's never thrown a lot of interceptions. Even the bad year he was what sure. sixteen touchdowns, eleven interceptions with Hackett. So do you? I think. And I don't know, I can't guarantee it's going to be different in Pittsburgh, but I don't think he was a fit for Peyton, which is one reason Peyton didn't like him because he's definitely not on time, even when he was great. That's that's a great point, but I think at this stage in his career, what Nick is saying is correct. When you have lost what made you a difference maker – when it doesn't look the same, mm-hmm. I don't care how off script you are, you can't you can't extend plays the way that you once did because you don't have the same athletic ability. It just looks different. It is different. And to your point, I don't think it's crazy when you talk about him trying to protect his numbers. Because he knew he was getting he fired. He knew it. He, that's he the, that's why I didn't even this. kill him for it. He knew from the beginning he this Sean Payton is going to get rid of me, and I don't want to not be a starter anymore. So I have to, at the very least have to protect he, my numbers. Yes, he, just like the Broncos had to protect their salary cap by benching him when he probably shouldn't have been benched because they didn't want him to get hurt. Like, everyone's protecting themselves. You said that, and that was, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense because yeah. he knew. I'm about to get fired, so I want it to, you know, the resume to look good. Uh, check in on the AFC West. Raiders. This is the comedy part. Portion of the show. Sign Gardner Minshew, who can play. <laughs> oh, let's go. To a two-year, $25 really? million dollar deal. Meanwhile, <laughs> the Broncos are looking at signing Zach Wilson. Really? Okay. Who right. has done well historically you got in the, the back Zach Wilson now? mountain time zone. Uh, Nick, does this strike fear what, into your heart? What do I have written there, Greg? Can you Poverty read? friend. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I can't imagine. <laughs> what is what? Can you imagine waking up this morning and hearing the Denver Broncos, who the next two years have the sixth highest quarterback cap hit for someone who's not there? They're inquiring about Zach Wilson. <laughs> Can you imagine poor Hubs Raiders fan who's like wakes up this Gardner, morning what? and is like Gardner, Gardner like Minshew to the rescue? Uh, All right, good. listen, I yeah, they, both of these Wilson, teams. Sure. You know what their plan is? Praying they have the opportunity to draft the fifth quarterback off the board. That's the plan. So uh, listen, I the either way, Kansas City. We don't have banner for it, but congrats, Chiefs. You're four and zero. Like, oh, both these teams beat you last year. Chiefs are – Mahomes 22-3 and three against these two teams. That was before they had a Minshew potential Zach Wilson quarterback Minshew, duo. Man. Minshew is what, Wilds? Minshew can Give it play a, a little bit. Give it a number. Of what? He's the what-ranked quarterback in the league. Give it a number. I'm not giving that a number. Give, give it a number. I, I, Come on, I'm you're, you're gonna, supporting him. I'm give it a number. At his best? It, get, Gardner Minshew. 11th. Okay. All right. When he's at his peak. Oh, okay. When All he right. shows up in jorts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, probably 20. What at him? 20th. Can you imagine? 20. I don't even uh, think so. All right, imagine? do we have time to talk about Jameis? I'm surprised Jameis didn't go to the Broncos. A little Sean Payton reunion. Yeah, yeah. I, he missed out. You know, we're going to discuss it in the commercial break. Check out the podcast. <laughs> I always tell you to check out the podcast. I thought that would work. Uh, check in on the Bears, who still have the number one pick and still have Justin Fields. 
Bears cornerback Jalen Johnson saying, you know what, we're actually pretty good. Take a listen. It wouldn't be mature of us as a locker room not to rally together in, in, in spite of having Justin leave. Um, I know what it would do to keep him here. I know how we would feel um, with him here. But, I mean, I feel like just at the end of the day, we'll all have our opinions, our emotions. Um, but as far as the locker room staying together, I think we have the right guys in the locker room to keep everything together, to keep us together. And, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all here to win. Okay. Here's Justin Fields' career as a starter last year. Uh, it's always under 200 yards a game, 16 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Also had four rushing touchdowns. Uh, so where do you want to see Fields week one, bro? Well, first of all, I think Jalen Johnson, his attitude is right on the money. Mm -hmm. Like we, we like Justin, but we can't let that stop us if he's not here. Look. I, I, there's only one team left that really is kind of in the market for a starter if we assume, you know, the, the Patriots and other teams are drafting somebody. Denver. And I know I, he and Sean Payton don't look like a great fit, although Payton did like Taysom Hill, running quarterback. So Running I, tight I, end. Well, Taysom Hill. Right, right. Running I, would, I would like to see him in Denver just so he gets a shot to start. And then, if not there, the Giants Ooh, behind Daniel Jones, short leash on Daniel Jones if they're already out on him. If, he, if he's struggling to, through the first four or five games, let's put Justin in and see if he might be our guy. He's where I want to see him. He's on the team that I feel like should keep him and should trade the pick. I know this is anti-Nick right now. Well, it's a, go ahead. might have a heart attack because of Caleb Williams. But this is a guy that I've, they, have, they have never – given him what you would give a first-round quarterback in terms of support. He hasn't had an offensive line. He just got a number one wide receiver for the first time last year, didn't have a running back. Mm -hmm. Like, he led the team in rushing. Like, you don't have a plethora of skill guys. You got D.J. Moore, and it started to kind of click. He missed four games. Like, I just feel like for the first time, you have the op opportunity – to build around him and support. I get it. There's a lot that uh, the, the fans may know or a lot of fans don't know that's going on with the Chicago Bears as far as new stadium and all the things and you want to sell and all. And Caleb Williams is, quote, unquote, a lock until he's not. Okay, can wow. I ask you a question, though? So you said they should trade the number one pick. Why? Yeah, like, do you think they get a lot for it? Absolutely. Like, mo like three firsts, maybe? What right now? What's Justin Fields? Is people offering three firsts for Justin Fields? They're offering two firsts for Justin Fields. They're offering one first for Justin Fields. Or is anyone offering a third round pick for Justin Fields? So take my feelings out of it. The whole idea of the the, the logic behind keeping Fields and trading the pick is 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 wrapped in this fact: the pick is incredibly valuable. Because there are multiple teams across the league that view this, view him, forget what Nick Wright thinks, view the number one pick, which of would course. be Caleb Williams, yeah. as this amazing asset worth. No, but we also the, thought that about, to, wait, to Greg's the, point, that's what no, that, they had it because they thought that the, was the about number Bryce one worth, pick universally, right. Right. you're going to yeah. try to acquire at least. It didn't matter, no. doesn't matter who is at that pick. No, I, I agree because right. they got it. To your point, they got, the reason they have it is because of the Bryce Young draft, which could have been the CJ Stroud draft. They had listened to Brew, but set that aside. Mm -hmm. But no, it'd be one thing if it was like, man, we have on the board from New England the 34th pick offered to us for Justin Fields. The whole league has said, right or wrong, we don't want him as our starter. So the Bears, in my opinion, don't. I do not think they have the option of in consecutive drafts having their choice of quarterback and in consecutive drafts passing on that to stick with a guy that evidently the, they're the only team in the league that they would want as their starter. The Giants, right before we went on the air, was it Drew Locke dust? The Giants signed yeah, a, a quarterback, right? Because that, Brew, that is, you and I were like-minded again. I put the Giants fight, you know, right. battle with Daniel Jones. We saw Dable get a lot out of Daniel Jones this healthy year when he was running and feels and better athlete. better than Jones. And so, but we are approaching last house on the left territory. Like, if Minnesota doesn't draft somebody, go there and compete with Darnold. Like that's I, his you know, best it, case it, right now. Wilds is competing with somebody. Or Greg, do you think there's any chance Chicago holds on to Justin Fields and sits Caleb for the season, Patrick Mahomes? I, I don't think that's going to happen. 
I don't think that's going to happen. You, you got to do one or the other. You're going to obviously you can trade the pick and get a lot of assets from that and then build and support the guy that you're going to presume be your franchise guy. I, I totally see I, why Justin Fields is not beloved or attractive to all these other teams because he hasn't been what the one thing we know he can do is run the ball. Get you out feel of the like he's been and, done wrong. I just, and he almost but deserves do you think, better. Do you think yes. he can be a star? I absolutely do believe he can you, be you a star. you got to at least think I that. Do. It's Because Caleb could. It's the exact opposite of what ba- the Baltimore Ravens decided and made a choice to do with Lamar Jackson mm. as far as we're going to support who he is right now. We, they knew he wasn't a passing quarterback the moment he jumped into the National Football League. But what they did say is we're going to feature what you do well. The Bears have never even done that. That's good. That's a good take. I think he's been done wrong. I also think they have to draft I, I know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, he has been done wrong, but you got to draft Time to move on. Coming up at 4 o'clock, it's the freshest and warmest segment on sports. It's King of the Hill. Oh, it's warm? Yeah, it's springtime. Oh, okay, nice. We're trying to do a winter thing. This I is like it. a spring yeah, thing. Yeah, we're still work in work. progress. Afternoon headline sponsored by Ram Trucks. They are built to serve Patriots. Signed Jacoby Brissett to a one-year $8 million deal. I love this. Second best quarterback there in the last 20 years. Odds to win. <laughs> wow, shots at Cam Newton. Odds to win the AFC. Uh, Buffalo at one. And the Dolphins, Jets, and then the rebuilding Patriots. I like that. 1,700? Any chance the Patriots surprise anyone at the table? Anyone? Well, they're going to – yes, yeah. 100%. They're going to really surprise you when they're the worst team in the conference. That's going to we really surprise year. you. What? We were the worst team last year. Yeah, but you don't okay, think that. that's going to happen again. No, I You don't. believe in the Patriots. Yeah. And so the, – go ahead. Sorry. Well, do you believe do – you, you remember when I coined the phrase defense wins championships? Is our defense good? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, I mean, you just lost healthy. the greatest defensive mind ever, so we'll see. Okay. Well, who would we replace him with? His protege? A, a linebacker. Call me not scared okay. when we replace one guy <laughs> uh, with the other guy. Uh, okay. So we're going to have a great defense. Gonzalez is back. We just signed Uche, so I feel good about that. We have Jacoby to come in and sort of steady the ship. And I think Albert Breer had a great tweet that was like, Jacoby is your guy when there's like – the rough water, like whether it was like the Brady suspension, no, Deshaun suspension, yeah. Andrew Luck retiring. Like, he's the guy to come in and be like, it's okay, I'm here. Whoever we draft, I think it's going to be Jaden Daniels, comes in, learns behind Jacoby. Like Jacoby that. gets it. Solid leadership, and we're good. And finally, Josh says, in the last eight years, Josh, in the last eight years, one rookie coach has made it to the playoffs. Once in every last eight years, one rookie coach has made it to the playoffs. So, yeah, that will be the us, Falcons Mayo. probably this year. Um, the, <laughs> no, rookie, uh, rookie coach. The, yeah. the, the, oh, okay, fair enough. The, so, I just have a quick question. Who's your favorite Patriot offensive player? Right now? Pop Douglas. Okay, okay so Pop, Pop Douglas. Is yeah, the I like him guy. a lot. So, Bro, do you agree Kendrick Bourne's that, back to that if everybody. we include short and long term, the Patriots are the most hopeless team in the conference? Like, their only hope is that either this is a historically great quarterback draft class or mm-hmm. one of the two teams in front of them makes a mistake. That's their only path. Their only path is that the third quarterback taken ends up being a star. Yeah. Which mean, right. and so, You need a star quarterback. I mean, quarterback. Denver I is pretty bad, but... But you have Sean Payton, so you yeah. feel a little bit more... The, well, the Jets, yeah, long We have $100 million, is, and they're going to $85 million. What are you spending it on, Wilds? I don't know. We're being prudent. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh, don't get this guy. Don't get this that, guy. Don't get, we're yeah, being because prudent. my team has awesome players. Prudent. Your team, you just said Pop Douglas was yeah, your Pop favorite Douglas offensive is player. Pop Douglas is, is he? good. That's why, yeah, he's excellent, Okay, actually. He has Wilds. some concussions, that, okay. but he's okay now. Go ahead. I've been trying to tell you this since I've been a host on this show. Go ahead. It's over, man. And I hope I'm wrong because I'd love to see Gerard Mayo succeed. Yeah, he's going to be well. But they are about to go in a playoff drought. We're in a playoff drought right now. All right. It's been three years. This is how it works. It's been two years. The Steelers. It's been two. You've missed the playoffs just two years in a row. I know, three years since we won. Will you listen to the evidence? I'm sorry. Maybe this will convince you. After the Steelers had that great run in the 70s, 70s. they only made the four playoffs four times in the 80s. After the Niners yes. had that great run in the 80s and early 90s, yeah. from 1999 to like 2010, they made the playoffs 
twice. Okay? And, and Dallas, we know after they won their Super Bowls, it was about 20 years of mostly mediocre play, a couple decent seasons. This is what you're headed for. It'll happen to the Chiefs when Mahomes leaves, but it's about to happen to y'all. Wilds, I'm actually optimistic. Let's go. No. Let's go. <laughs> to, we, to what? Six games? Seven I, I, games? I just feel like there is no place but to go up. Thank you. Like, okay. I, but I just, I'm optimistic, and I, I'm, I'm sincere in saying this. Like, I believe that what, what is happening in their division, I don't know what the Dolphins are doing. I'm sure they have a plan, but yeah, they're look. losing a lot of pieces. Uh, the Buffalo Bills, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of out on the Buffalo Bills. Love it. The Jets, I've never been in on the Jets. Uh, wow. Are it's we gonna 17 win? to 1. I'll give you Are 18 we win to 1 the right now. East. Wow. But I'm not saying, Thanks, I'm not saying they're going to win the Greg. Playoffs? Love it. I'm not, I'm not saying any of those. I think we can make the playoffs. You're saying win six, seven okay. games. Did anyone think the Texans could make the playoffs? All that to what? about six or rookie seven co- wins. Rookie head I'm coach. Just- Live from New York, it's the show that is still a work in progress. We're trying out some new things. <laughs> <laughs> It's the second hour of First Things First. Today, Prediction Week rolls on the Western Conference, even though no team is beating Denver in a seven-game series. Meanwhile, how will Derrick Henry fundamentally change the Ravens' offense? Well, we'll see. But right now, it's Tuesday, March 12th, which means it's time for the NBA segment that is a rich tapestry of history, potential, and performance. Now, some people call it Mahomes Mountain NBA edition when you had the snow. That's not what we're calling it. We are calling it, and it's named after LeBron James. Yeah. That's why we have the crown here. Yeah. And, and it's like. And a hill. Hill. We have a hill. <laughs> NBA King of the Hill. You know the other reason, Wilds? What? King of the Hill. You know this. You're a big basketball player. Bruno, that's a game people play and pick up basketball. King of the Hill, King of the Mountain type, you know, like it's a. called King of the Court. King of the, yeah, exactly. You play it on a hill, though. No, you don't. But again, we're trying to make it work. So, all right. <laughs> Rules same as Mahomes Mountain. Maximum 28 players. Seven row mountain or hill as it is. <laughs> but. People fall off. Oh! It is not a slippery mountain. What is it, it is more of a dew-covered hill. Dew and covered. you can f- slip a bit. So, we have our first people off the hill. Listen, Tyrese Maxey and Trey Young, they've been out. They've been hurt. They yeah. haven't played. And the hill can, you know, be fickle when it comes to who is punished for injuries and who isn't. But Maxey and Trey fall off. Bam's played, just hasn't played well. And Miami's not only lost three straight, they lost once to Washington, which counts as three losses. So he's off. <laughs> All right, seventh row. Donovan again, he falls due to his absence. PG, Paolo, and Kyrie stay where they are. And welcome to the hill. Let's go. Zion, Sabonis, and Wilds' guy, Shingun. Shout out, Shingun. Now... It might be a short-lived stay on the hill because he is dealing with an injury. It's okay, we're but happy to be here. But he got a gold medal last week. He had the best game of his career. Mm-hmm. He was able to avoid major injury. He makes the mountain. Pels have won four straight, and Sabonis has been playing great. Row six, Jalen Brown moving up. Jalen Brunson moving down. Again, mm-hmm. not Brunson's fault, but he has missed some time due to injury. Murray, Fox, Booker, and Halliburton stay exactly where they are. And it's nice to see Halliburton turn it on a bit in some spots. He's had a rough stretch. Yeah. Fifth row, Steph drops due to injury. Jimmy drops for the same reason. What, what, bros looks No, that, that was my suggestion last week. Okay, oh, yeah, and Jimmy good job. Drops. And, oh, he was, his suggestion was Jimmy. Jimmy drops. They've lost three in a row. Like I said, the same thing with uh, Bam. You lose to the Wizards. Miami, I understand that you really turn it on come to the playoffs. you got like 20 games left. You don't want to be the nine seed. I they win some games. Dame time. Dane, 31 and 8, 50, 46, 96 splits since our last version of the Hill. So he moves up. Kawhi and AD stay where they are. Fourth row, Tatum had a rough week. Mm. LeBron had a great week, but there's not move, there's not room for him to move up. Anthony Edwards didn't really have a great week, but he had such a great moment within the week, the yeah. block, the 44-point game, mm. trying to keep them afloat without uh, Carlin Downs. He moves up. Shea and LeBron stay where they are. All right, third row. Now, let me say this about Joel Embiid, because we've moved a lot of people down because they've missed a week or two. Embiid's missed quite a bit of time. However, he's the defending MVP. He's averaged 35 a game this year. And if I'm going to have him anywhere on the the hill, it has got to be up there. So it's a weird thing. I understand it's not totally consistent. Luca, it's a thank you, Wilds. Luca, (laughs) just, you know, 37, 11, and 12 seemingly every night. And then there's Kevin Durant. 
who was already having a monster year, who if he was just shooting better from the free throw line, hmm. he would be a 53-43-90 guy and said he's 53-43-85. But in the last week, he's averaging 38.7 rebounds, 5 assists on 54-47 splits and just seems to be damn near as good as ever at 35 years old. Now, this part of the hill last week was controversial. We do, Brew, have some movement. Oh. Last week, if you remember, Giannis was at the top. Giannis moves down. That's fair. So Giannis moves down. Now, luckily, Brew, he overcame writhing in pain I from mean, the Achilles. <laughs> and, and didn't. we thought going into the game, going into the hill last week, Giannis could be Wincing. out weeks. Wilds, Wilds, <laughs> Mint Wincing said writhing. Um, and he is, his numbers have been great, but since the last edition of the hill, they did lose by 35 yeah. points. <laughs> Uh, and they lost by 35 we'll points to the Lakers, who is a team Nikola Jokic has not lost to, I think, since the bubble or thereabouts. It's been quite some time. So that means the very top of the hill is vacant. Wow. And that Come doesn't on. mean it's going. What, were you big surprise? You thought there was someone we had forgotten? I know, but now it's official. The, um, <laughs> so I am Wendy not saying that we have, and again, we have predictions week continuing in the next segment. But you guys know I already picked Milwaukee to make the Eastern Finals. They have a two-time MVP, a one-time champion, a one-time finals MVP. Denver has a two-time MVP, a one-time champion, a one-time finals MVP. I wonder if those two people could meet in the finals potentially to fight for the euphemistic crown mm. that always sits atop LeBron James's head, but maybe for the, you know, the king of the NBA hill. But right now that top spot is vacant. So are you saying it's going to remain vacant? I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not. Certainly not so saying that. Again, the hill is like you know a, a rich tapestry, as Wilds has said. But right now it is. I couldn't pick between Jokic and Giannis last week. We put Giannis at top this week. Well, you know, my source, Wilds, tells me it's left to right. Again, it's not. Again, the committee is is Wednesdays. This is just me alone watching poker on TV (laughs) and reading, you know, and scouring. All right, Uh, not a bad mountain, Nick. Thank you. Jokic, I think, should be on top. But I'm going to focus on SGA. Mm. Okay. I would switch. You're right, Kevin Durant's having a great year, but guess who's having an even better year? Wow. SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander, switch SGA and KG, KD, KD also, and KD. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so here, here's here's why I say it. First of all, he's averaging more points than Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant's claim to fame obviously is scoring, but SGA is even scoring more, averaging 31 points a game, second most in the league, and assists. K, uh, SGA averages one more. K, rebounds, KD averages one more. Sure. SJ even a little bit more efficient from two overall, but not from three. But, Nick, SJ also leads the league in steals. He's the only player in the NBA with two or more steals mm. a game, and that's on a team that's a top five defensive team. Good defense. So he, he defends. He is a good defender. One thing I like about these two young guards, him and Anthony Edwards, both of them defend. So I love that. But – the, the, that's the first reason. I think individually he's been a little bit more impressive. The second thing is this, Nick. They are the top seed in the West. We know Phoenix is the sixth seed. Now, he's the top seed with his second leading scorer, Jalen Williams, a second-year player. And then his third leading scorer, Chet Holgren, a rookie. And then Lou Dort is like the, the yeah. most senior starter with five years in the league. Giddy's like in his fourth year, I think. So they are a young team. He's got them as the top seed in the West, which we know is a great conference. And Durant, now I get it, they've had some injuries. Yeah. But you got a perennial, you got a superstar in Devin Booker with you. You've got Bradley Bill. I know he's been banged up, but he's an all star. Mm-hmm. Nurkish is averaging a double double, and there's nobody on OKC who's near a double double. And so I think with that veteran, laden, talented cast, KD isn't lifting them even close to as high. So as that's Shea interesting is because y- you're totally right that Booker's got more name recognition, accolades, and is a better player than anyone else on yes. the Thunder. I think the Thunder are a better – take SGA and KD off their teams. I like the Thunder way more than I like the Suns. So I don't look at it like I, SGA I is raising – Yeah, I, listen, I think he if obviously you put, If raised. you switch KD and SGA, I don't think OKC is as good. 
Oh, really? Really, yep. Oh, see, and I think that, and I think the opposite. I think that OKC is just as good, and I think Phoenix is in, I don't want to say trouble, Phoenix will be fine. Phoenix is probably in a similar spot. So, and again, I want to be clear here. I think SGA is a legitimate MVP candidate. I think he's been great. I just think the rest of the Thunder, because they're young and because they don't have the accolades, I, in my opinion, you're discounting them. I don't want to say discounting they're them. They're not but bad. They're, yeah. they're good players. I'm just saying the youth. The, that's unusual for a guy to take so many young players. He's young himself, but taking so many sure. young players and being the number one seed. I'll meet you in the middle, bro. Why don't you leave KD where he is on the hill? Move Luka down. Switch SGA with Luka. Wow. Oh, Just wow. call me old-fashioned, everybody. And I know he won Player of the Week, and they've won three games in a row. Since the All-Star break, the Dallas Mavericks are 5-5. Five and five. And you might say, well, wow, so let's look at their numbers. Well, Joker, Giannis, and Luka. Ideally, the top three guys on the hill. Points, Luka, rolling. Rebounds, still pretty good for Luka. 11 assists is excellent, too. Win-loss. 9-1 and one for Joker. 6-2 and two for Giannis. He missed a game, but they still won. And five and five for Luka Doncic in the Mavs. You might say, hey, how's their defensive rating since the All-Star break? Mm. Good question, Brew. Dead last. Dead last. Now, is that like a scheme thing? Is that just bad luck? I'm not saying we're going to grind the all 10 later on. But this is simple stuff. Second chance points. They're 23rd. Fast break points. The 19th. You think you can I, Defensive th- rating is 121. You're blaming Luca Washington- for their second chance points they've given up. That's on Luca. This is what's up. What? Nothing's on Luca. The no, back of the five five is not on Luca. Some of the defense. The fact- but hold on. Some- I, I have a question for you, Brew. I usually get to ask Wilds this on Wednesdays during NFL season. This is King of the Hill. What is this not? The USA Today power rank. Or the standings. You are. You, are we looking and, for complete players and, or not? No. We, yeah, he's one spot above Giannis, who gives oh, 100% on both the, sides no, of the floor. He's not. He's one, above SGA, he's above who gives 100% Giannis. on both the, ends of the floor. Oh, uh, Luca scores points. Okay, first the of all, Mavs lose. I, and it's like, what's going on with the Mavs? What, the other guys that he's passing the ball to are doing right, 87%. Two, two points. Play some defense. Two points. One is, and again, I'm not disparaging SGA, but are we sure SGA's steals are real steals or are they like Jordan in the 80s? home cooking Oh, school. shots sure. at Jordan. Uh, We're done with the sure. 90s, ask, dude. Ask, listen, ask, <laughs> your buddy Pablo Torre did a great expose on that with Tom Haverstraw. I look forward to more on it. Um, Wilds. Yeah? Since the last edition of King of the Hill. Yeah, 3-0. Have the Mavs lost? No, they're 3-0. Is Luke averaging a 38-point triple-double? Uh, yeah, 37.7, 10, 3, and uh, 11 assists. Okay. And you want me to move him down based on this week? They're undefeated by your metric of team wins. Well... So I, I think the Pelicans have four wins. I don't see Zion flying. Zion did make the mount. He made it. He Where got up he? there. I didn't see him. He was at the bottom. <laughs> Play some defense. You're dead last. busy looking at Shingoon. Dead yeah. last. Dead last, bro? Uh, the defense is bad. You so think? I just need Luka to show a commitment. You, Fake it. I Make think, it look like you're he's trying to been lo- It looks like he's trying. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's just not working. Fine. <laughs> For West Predictions, everyone, it's Predictions Week. Spoiler alert, Denver are the favorites, and no one's beating them in a seven-game series. But we're still going to do the segment. It, what? No, just the, the – I'm surprised all the time. I'm not as locked in on the, like, day-to-day odds when it's not football season. Like, I look at the betting lines in football that – all the time. Clippers. Brewer, are you surprised that it is that? I don't want to spoil your pick, but the the Broncos, the Nuggets are 185 and the Clippers are plus 240. I'm just surprised that it's that close. That it's that, you know, that, it's that close. That, I'm very uh, surprised. That it doesn't seem like they think Clippers Denver's hard overwhelming. No one. Because I, I, I walk around and I take the pulse yeah. of sort of the sports world. No one would take the Clippers. No one is going to be fooled by James Harden in the playoffs again. Brew? Let's start the segment <laughs> off with you. <laughs> well, one, I'm going to give you my Western Conference Finals matchup. Great. Yes, please. And I'm going to – the one team that I have in it, yes, Bruce Clippers. <laughs> That's why I said it. And I'm being calm about really it, but I'm it. saying it with my chest. Well, it doesn't. Sound no, you're not more. saying it with no, your I mean, chest. No, I mean, I'm just – I'm being calm about it. But That means you're not saying it with no, your chest. The, okay, uh-huh. the Clippers you believe yeah. more in the, the Conference Eagles Finals. Who lost okay. seven games in a row. Here's the thing. Now, obviously, they need to stay healthy, as, as do all these teams. Yes. Let's just keep it real. But Ty Lue, and I think Nick may agree with me, he'll outcoach – Every coach in that conference except Mike Malone and Steve Kerr. I think he might outcoach every coach in that conference. 
I think he might That's be the best fair, coach in those, the conference. Those two he are might good be good coaches. Yeah, too. they're all so champions. It's not going to be like a decided it. advantage. Correct. Yeah. But Ty Lue is a great coach. 100%. And makes, you know, great adjustments yep, in yep. the whole nine. And I think so many of these teams are equally matched, evenly matched, that I think that could be the difference. Yeah. And so I, I like the Clippers. They got great depth. You know, so I, I think this is their year to get to the conference finals. They've been there once before under Ty Lue. But I got them facing Denver. And I got Denver winning this, the West, Denver beating the Clippers. And here's something, because you, you kind of alluded to it a little bit, and you did too. There's this stuff going around on social media. We're done with the 90s. Yeah. Oh, Obviously, it shots at Michael going. Jordan. All right. no, look, but here's what I got to say. It's a whole era, man. It's here's what I'll say. Thing. The Denver Nuggets, who obviously if they win this championship, this is a little bit of an era for them. It'd be like a little mini dynasty. They are a, an example of real like team basketball. Mm-hmm. They got one star. They got one all-star. All right. They don't even, it's not even like they got one superstar and another all-star. They got one all-star. And a lot of times people look back at the 90s. Oh, it was a time when teams had one or two stars, not three. They didn't have super teams like the 80s and then like the the LeBron era. You just had Drexler in Portland and Malone in Stockton in in Utah and Kip and Peyton in Seattle and and Barkley in Phoenix. And so, but those are good teams. You don't have to have – Three superstars to be a no, great you need team. A team that and makes di- sense. Yes, the team that makes sense. Guys fit together. Everybody knows their role and enjoys their role and excels in their role. And that's what Denver is. Now, ironically, if I'm right, you are going to have a kind of a throwback team with one star versus a super team. Hmm. And I think and the I throwback don't, team. And by the way, I, I like wouldn't that. call the Clippers a super team. Because They're a little older, yeah, but they, you know. They, if, you, if you were to have all of those guys at their peak, yeah, yes, definitely. that's a super yeah, team. But, still but Paul George stars. on the but down when they came together, bit, together, When they came they together, yeah, sh- a, sure. All right, so don't reveal mine yet because Wilds has swayed me, and the evidence has swayed me in the playoffs last year, swayed me about the inevitability of Denver. But they've got to play somebody. That's true. So I just going down. If I the Clippers, I do not believe in them flatly. I do not believe that James Harden is going. One of the reasons people believe in him is because of the boost James Harden gave him. I do with seven times bitten, eight times shy for me when it comes to Harden. I'm out. OKC, the youth is concerning. Phoenix, what much like Katie's time in Brooklyn? It's like wait, they've played how many games together w- with the big right. three? Mm-hmm. Minnesota is already dealing with an injury. My goodness gracious, we're running out of teams. Wow. Golden State, you know that I said they can't do it. Who am I leaving out? Sacramento. There's Sacramento. Where's the beam? I, listen, yeah, I love Sacramento. the beam and I love the Kings. Sabonis so in the playoffs has a little. Rudy Gobert factor, okay. which I know they're wildly different players, but he is he has not proven to be a playoff performer. Now I'm really Dallas. running out of teams. Dallas, you know I do not believe Kyrie Irving contributes to winning if he's not alongside LeBron James, even though Kyrie's been a good That's citizen. And yeah. now, <laughs> what'd you say? It's Kyrie's <laughs> fault. The, no, not I'm, the not, <laughs> no I, the, I'm just saying I wasn't a believer in Dallas the moment they got Kyrie, and I've stayed, what do they call me, Wilds? Mr. Consistency. Right, and so still. that we're, we've eliminated all the teams. They have to play Somebody, I guess it's 2023 all over again. Short series. Nuggets over <laughs> like, Lakers a close in the conference series. finals. Who knows? I'm just saying Be Nuggets honest. over Lakers in what the conference finals. What do you think series looks like? What? If Not, the, if the mean, Lakers play say Denver. It, say it. Uh, let's see. I got to see how it goes. Because you've been I've saying it. I mean, Nuggets and six. You've been saying it. Six? So, six? Six, they, six. If, six, they should put up another banner. They should put up another Next banner. Like, we banner. won two games All right, from Denver. Who do you, you have the Nuggets playing themselves? No, I am playing the Thunder. I, I the sneak Thunder? In. Yeah, I believe in the they, Thunder. I guess they're going to avoid the Lakers. No, not Chet, but I, well, yeah, yeah, that's the, the problem. The Lakers own the Thunder, but the Thunder own the Nuggets. So the Thunder own the Nuggets? They, they've beaten three. Well, then why are you not taking the Thunder? Because come playoff time, they're too young. <laughs> but still, I, I give a lot of credence to the standings. I know we don't love USA Today here, but I like the standings. Uh, question for you. No, you go further. Go in on the Nuggets. Everybody knows that the, no one is beating the Nuggets. And the fact that you had the Lakers mm-hmm. playing the Nuggets, which they'll get swept Again, I don't because know they, they'll get swept. It's hard to beat a team nine, 11 times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they win one. It's, it's hard, hard to beat a team. They probably would get one. Exactly. They probably but you're in a tricky spot. Why? 
Because if you have this matchup, mm -hmm. the Nuggets are going to dispatch of the Lakers so easily. And the Bucks, who do you have? Bucks Heat? Yeah. The Bucks are going to be locked in, and the Heat's going to give them all they can handle. Denver is going to be fresh as a daisy. You know daisy. that's going to give us an opportunity? The super rare NBA version. Russ versus Russ. Russ <laughs> versus Russ. Your favorite conversation. They're going to just dispatch Your favorite of, combo. of the Lakers. Well, it's we'll do our so final easy. picks tomorrow. Maybe you've swayed me. Maybe I'm going to pick Nuggets over Bucks. Who do you have? No, you I me. got Celtics Nuggets. And then? In the finals. We'll, we'll, tomorrow we'll tomorrow. We just saw it. We literally just saw it. <laughs> You know, if you missed today's show or you want to take it on the go, I know you're thinking, oh, man, i got to drag my TV all the way down the Oh, street. bringing that one back. Yeah, wrong. We've got a podcast. <laughs> we don't even have to watch it. Uh, also, our YouTube channel has been excellent. Uh, tomorrow, Brew's Ballot. Back Brew forth. has an official ballot. You will not be beholden to these for your official ballot. I think that would be against the rules. Right. Yeah. Just in pencil. And Just our right finals this pick. Point, yes. Absolutely in pencil. And our finals pick. Yeah. We're all taking Denver. Uh, Metal time. Okay. You don't know that. <laughs> I'm saying we should. Okay. Spurs Warriors. Trace Jackson. Wow, why does he got to do your guy Wimby like that? He, it, that's a solid effort. Pop was Wimby fired up. Wimby had like eight highlights you could have put in here. This is the best highlight of the One night. of them. He you know what it was? Stole it and An offensive on foul someone online pointed out. Bronze medal. Okay. Luka, 27-12-14, also known as his worst game in like 10 days, <laughs> and a 35-point win over the Bulls, but Wilds want to move him down the hill for reasons Held that the Bulls I still to 92. don't understand. You highlighted that. Silver medal, Kevin Durant, 37-8-6, exactly what he's been averaging the last week, but Brew wanted to move him down the hill for reasons I don't totally understand. Joker, 35-17-12, and, and I actually, honest to God, was locked in on this game. Mm -hmm. The Raptors were in total control until Joker decided, no, you're not. Yeah. Yep. And I'm just going. What he did in the third quarter in the beginning of the fourth, spectacular as the Nuggets end up rolling. And there is the medal stand from last You've night. you really come weird. around. I mean, I'm, I'm you know what they call me? Oh, yeah. The most honest Because Joker man should be on top of the, the hill. That's true. All right. He, he, has, come, he all the way around. come all the way around. But when you start talking about him, you can't help but he's, he's great. spit facts. But gosh. Uh, Derrick Henry Speaking headed to facts. Baltimore. Brew, does this get the Ravens closer to the Super Bowl? Yes. Closer. I mean, we'll, look, I'm not predicting anything right now, but they're better. Now, I know I hate to lose Patrick Queen on defense, but Nick, Going into last year, they lost a lot. Of, they, they, we no. thought their defense was a question mark, yep. and obviously it wasn't. They lost. They they're taking nothing away from the Chiefs, but had they run the ball last year, and you're going to run it with yeah. Derrick Henry, they lost because they didn't run the ball. They got away from that, and two, just foolishness and immaturity. All right, with Zay Flowers and uh, the unsportsmanlike conduct things, I think they'll change You should pick him that. again. He's I would too. It was, it was really good. Speak is next. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. We'll see. Uh -huh.